Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim, our questing, modding, and adventuring love letter to all things Skyrim. I'm Tori. I'm Tyler. Last time on Shapeless Skyrim, we showed off the second part of the Dreamweaver mod. Yes, we, we did. did. A full mod showcase, so mm -hmm. to say. And now we are back in the Dragonborn quest line. We sure are. Once more for one night only. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go to the Thalmor Embassy. They've been conniving against us. We, we believe we, we think don't wanna... we don't want to throw out any assumptions, but they seem like they brought the dragons back. Yeah, that's what we're I mean, that's the only logical explanation. Like dragons are back, the Thalmor, duh. That's exactly right. So let's get right into it. I love how the quest is called Diplomatic Immunity. I know. They did good uh, quests. Like, whoever made the names of the quest did an amazing job because there Probably are wasn't some, Todd Howard. There are some real some real bangers. Is that, is that a, can you use that for more than just, like, talking about music? I'll allow it. Okay. I'll You're allow welcome. It. Overruled. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. <laughs> you seem really excited. She just shows me like a very large, that comically large long. suitcase. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. Okay. The Thalmor ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. Yeah, I can get you into my one kind of, of party. <laughs> Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. Yeah. I'll get word for I'll him to meet you in myself. solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work She didn't even wait for comment. You know it? Ellen Good. Yeah. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Nah, I think we're good, Mom. How am I going to get into the party? You know what? I have an idea. I'll lock that away in my memory banks. You don't worry about that, Tori. Yeah. I, okay. I, I got it. All right. I trust you. Once I'm in the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. I'll see you in solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. Yeah. I think I will. Yeah. Always am, ain't I? Ain't I? I hate you so much, Delphi. Yeah, she got As everyone knows, Shapeless Gaming respects women, but <laughs> I hate Delphine. Yeah. Delphine sucks. Be careful. Sorry. Move! Uh, God damn! Or, this is the nightmare scenario for Skyrim. <sighs> Unless you don't want me to, am I? Should I keep it? Uh oh. What? Thank you! <laughs> Jesus fuck. You gotta be fucking professional, guys. Come on. Okay, you know what? What time is it? I'm gonna take a. I'm pissed. I'm, I'm going the fuck to bed. Get me a room. We got rooms and. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'm Thank go, you. I'm going the fuck to bed. For actually letting me have a room. room. Not like right Delphi. The bitch. I hope they're dead down there, honestly. They are. Where'd Faindal go? Nah, he's good. You can't kill him. Thanks, I didn't need you. Let me know if there's anything else Yes, you, you can kill him, though. Okay, leave. You gonna watch me sleep? What do you need? Sorry, let me rephrase that. Will, will you watch me sleep? <laughs> You're gonna wait here tonight. Okay, got it. Anything else? God, wh why is this nightmare happening? Oh my God! There's learn. another guy in the doorway. You've had more than enough. <laughs> Besides, you still haven't. Paid Can I for shout it? Oh wow! Can I'll I shout at them and they won't do anything? I don't know. Until then, I've no. Just go. Just go to bed. Well for you. Huh? Well, here we oh. go. Guess we'll find out. No. <laughs> You told him to sit down, didn't you? Yes. I'm right behind you. I've got your back. Oh my God. Le what do you need? Lead on. 
this is I don't know. Sit. I, we just want to get the episode going. Why can't we do this? Sit. Feindall. Sit. <laughs> Sit. He just starts making like the dog whimper noises. Now stay. Still need me to do something? Just, no, just wait. That's we all we need out? to do. Let's get going. Fuck, fuck. I thought I was going to say wait here. Tyler. Why have you forsaken us? What do you need? All right. What morning would be complete? Without some fucking coffee before yes. you, before you get yes, out. Yes, please. Let's get some coffee in there. We got to go all the way to solitude. We're not fast traveling. Right. Just... We need to move quick. We need to go quick, fast. You know what I mean? How many coffees did you make? Five. Make five or drink five. Let's let them all kick in. Wait for the high to start. I mean, wait for them to kick in. Oh yeah, they kicked in. This oh, is just walking. Oh boy. My God. Move. <laughs> Oh my god! To solitude! Wow. We're gonna make it there before the sun rises. Uh, yeah, which way is solitude? Uh, does it matter? We could circumnavigate the globe and still hit it. I think we actually need to move the other way. Uh, well, follow the quest marker. I'm going around. Alright. I wonder if we swim faster. What is, is there a dragon? Yeah, but we can uh, outrun it. Yeah, we can, but nothing is going our way for the start of this episode. Wow, nice morning. It is a nice morning. Does it look, uh, does it look different? Does the morning look a little different to you? It does. Maybe a bit more realistic? A bit more in the way the light is interacting? Yeah. It does look a bit more realistic. Tori, did you sneak something in on me? Again? I did sneak something in on you. It was my dick. <sighs> Wouldn't be the first time. Sure. Plenty of sleepovers have ended up with with a sore behind for me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, to get, to get back on track. To get back on track. Why why it looks so much you know what can we get away from this fucking dragon, please? It followed us. That's a committed dragon. Just beat it. <laughs> Sorry, just just fight the dragon and just I want to get on with this show and not have all these fucking distractions. Okay, we'll get out. We'll get out Rothmans. And is the game gonna break? No. We're just frozen. We're frozen. That might be worse. That's not what I wanted to happen. You know. <sighs> you know. Yes. I really don't want to blame Israel for this. Well, fuck off. This is why I didn't want to do Dragonborn. Yeah. It was kind of nice not having dragons anywhere. It really was. It was a blessing in disguise. It wasn't really in disguise. I just kind of had forgotten that we weren't fighting dragons. I just kind of forgot that there were dragons in Skyrim, and that was literally the entire point of the game. Yeah. <gasps> oh, dope. We got a genuine giant just clubbing. A oh, that doesn't look good for him. Oh, well, yeah, you missed. A little slow on that one, buddy. My money's on the big one. Which one? One's a genuine giant with almost all of his health, and the other is an a, an actual dragon. Yeah, just whoa, dude! I'm not your enemy here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't. Okay, we're gonna put it a stop. Yeah, this. just just end it already. Do you really want to fuck with me right now, buddy? He's still trying to hit us, and he's he literally just saw us mount a dragon and chop its skull in half. So. Yay, we did it. We're done. No more of that shit to deal with. Oh, and even now Even better good... time of day. Yeah, even better time of day to show it off. Fuck. Wow, right. what's the range on this? Holy shit. It's got mad range. 
Yay, Dragon Soul Observer. Okay, moving on here. So, the uh, the keen-eyed among you might have noticed that the lighting looks a little different, a little more realistic. The way the torch light kind of plays off the walls and the way it, like it, the glowiness of it is a little different. And that's because we have the finally sky. decided to change Dolomite Weathers and try out a new Weathers and Lighting mod, which is called Mythical Ages. It's by, so this is like a weird kind of caveat almost. It is by Arendelle, the person who did the louder nature sounds, the person who made uh, surreal lighting. Uh, but for some reason, Arendelle can no longer upload to the PS4 Bethesda net. So he had one of his modding friends upload it under their modding thing and just call it Mythical Ages by Arendelle. Anyway. Did he get banned? <laughs> what the fuck? I have no idea. The, the description didn't say. Mythical Ages is a complete overhaul of weathers and lighting with a fantasy theme. I think it looks more realistic. If they mean fantasy, maybe they mean maybe like Game of that, Thrones. Maybe it's that light. Like, because the lighting is absolutely like, it's it a, casts more of a Yeah, it's a more a realistic fantasy if they want to go with that. But it, I guess it might just have to do with like the colors being uh, maybe not vibrant, but richer. They're rich and everything feels like, it almost, it feels sharper because of it. And I don't know if yeah. it's just because of the colors. Like, but they're like darkened, and it just feels like sharper because yeah. of it. Like it, the sky is like it, yeah, it's it so almost gray, and it's like it's like an E and B almost. The lar- it uh, there this mod adds a larger variety of weather, um, which we've noticed when we were, or at least I noticed when I was playtesting it a little bit, is that there'll be like the storms are amazing. The storms will have this like yes. great overcast look that rolls in. You'll see lightning flashes. The sounds. Like better accompany how a storm would be. Excellent use of god rays for beautiful sunset and sunrise scenery. Intense rain and snowstorms. Rain and thunder can be heard from interiors, and there are sun lens flares. So this does everything that an ENB would for PC. Maybe not. I mean, maybe not everything. It's not to that extent. But from what a PS4 can have, this does it. Some slight tweaks to the noises and like being able to hear storms and doors is super awesome and like much more realistic and immersive and so far i've been really happy with the look it's not as bright and vibrant as dolomite like no, dolomite had some beautiful like, days look at and this stuff. right now like the it just feels very realistic absolutely yeah absolutely like compared to dolomite yeah and i'm excited to see uh it, if we get a nice sun ray through some trees or something like that see how it because it is self-described excellent use of God rays, so I want to see that in motion. Nah, not today, troll. We got places. That's how we to feel be. on the internet. We got places. Not to today, be. trolls. <laughs> Every time people are like, "God damn it, Tori, why don't you stop making videos, you stupid fucking ginger? Nobody likes you, your little frotch ass." And I'm just like, "Not today, trolls. <laughs> not today, <laughs> trolls. Not today, dad." <laughs> <laughs> I wish he would comment on something. Other than the only the only comment he's ever made is, "Ah, can you get me another beer?" Well, did you get him one? I did. Anything yeah. anything to spend some time with the old pops, you know what I mean? Do we still even have the is the coffee even going still? Tori. Okay, I can't I think it I'm Look at how fast we're moving. I very quickly became accustomed to the movement speed and I was just like, "Oh yeah, well, maybe we're, we're not moving that booking fast." Booking it. You know what I've been thinking out about for a while now is that you were telling me, you were telling me that you made a, you had like a, a, a call with this guy from like Boston or something like that, New and Jersey, I, New Jersey, and you he said something really funny and I can't remember what it is and I need to know. <laughs> His name was Lou from okay. New Jersey. I work at a call center and I have to call a bunch of people, but um, <laughs> he said he prefaced like asking me a question with. Let me tell you what. <laughs> and then he's like, let me tell you what. Can you send that in an email? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Lou. He sounded like he owned a sub shop. <laughs> and he was, let me tell you what. Can you send that to me in an email? Like, you don't usually say, let me tell you what, and then ask a question. Like, it's like a, let me tell you what. I'm going to make a suggestion. Yeah. Or like, this is what we should do. Not, let me tell you what. Can you send that to me in an email? <laughs> I want to believe that everyone in New Jersey is just like, Every I mean, uh, every conversation in New Jersey is, let me tell you what, can you put pepperonis on it? <laughs> let me tell you what, how's your day going? 
Yeah, that is amazing. And the fact that his name is Lou, it just makes everything so much wow, better. Wow. Okay, did they change how the light reacts with the water? I don't think so. Because it, it, looks, say that in the it description. looks great. It, has it always been like that? I think it always has been like that. It, it's very sparkly right now. It's very sparkly. Yeah, but it looks good. You can see the ripples and stuff like that. You it, it See, it's an overcast day. This feels like a good overcast day. And like when you get to like a torch or something, yeah. it really actually like illuminates. Yes, the light very much reacts. Like you I, can I, just I, tell like the difference between right here. <clears throat> it's warm like it's got like a warmer tone to it. It's yeah. not just like a light that doesn't cast any right. You don't just see light. the light, but it doesn't actually react to the environment. Yeah, it does. A, it does a really great job of handling lights, torches, stuff like that. I've noticed. God, it's the nights so, are a little the, bit darker, but my God, does do the the. It's not uh, like that one where the nights were literally impossible to see. Yeah, they are dark, but like the aurora casts light and everything, and it looks great. I seriously, it just looks sharper. Yeah, it does look sharper. But we're here in solitude. We made it. In record timing. Huzzah. Let's just get in there. Breakthrough. <laughs> like cartoon style. Dives in, just head butts them open. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it, pussy. All the way. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Yeah. 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 Oh! That's how you fucking do it, freshman! We made it to <sighs> solitude. Whoa. That was not good. Uh, give me another beer, <laughs> bitch. Oh, dude. Uh, you're, you're the best Tori's dad cosplayer I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was Tori's dad's cosplayer, I'd be wearing one of those fucking ridiculous jackets of his in the goddamn closet. <laughs> if you were if you were uh, my dad, if you were cosplaying as my dad, you wouldn't have shown up today. <laughs> I am always late. Let's go meet with the contact. You're going to have a lot of bubbles in you for the rest of the episode. I'm so bubbly when I'm with you. Aw. It's been a good week, my boy. Loud customers mean good cheer, and good cheer means a full till. You I've know, never heard that line of dialogue before. Run the son. What? You just spend your time here bossing me around and yelling for more drinks. You're practically Bellafort? retired already. What the hell? I yes. Okay. Okay, there we go. Pull out a torch. Really? Be a silly girl. You're who she picked? I, bar's no job for a young I hope she knows what she's doing. If I could see you, Here's the deal. I'd be I can scoffing at you, equipment into the Malborn. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security ever. very seriously. We're already on top of Give that. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. What kind of thing should yeah, I bring? Yeah, what should we bring? <clears throat> You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. This dude's a real cunt, isn't he? Do I beep that or do I leave it in? Do, I don't know. Do we? Where do we put everything? Do we get everything else that they take from us back? Yeah. Okay. Because I was just worried there. No, we do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know what I need. Okay. Yeah. Do they give us an outfit to wear, or do we wear our own outfit? I think they give us an outfit. Yeah, I think they give us an outfit, and then we change once we get there. Okay, got it. Got it? Got it. Perfect. I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. I think we're good. Great. All right. To the embassy. Huzzah! Off we go. Yeah, we're not too far from the Thalmor embassy from here, are we? God, we are, we are going to just be is that him? dipping through this. Oh, it Dude, sure I'm going to beat you there. Yeah. Like, beat him with your like with a club the whole way there. Is that Moo? Oh, hey, Delphine. Are we, am I coming to get you, or are we, like, am, I, am I swinging around in carpool? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? I Shh, have. Don't sit so loud. Good. I have your invitation to the party. Thank you. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Dude, or if the I rain. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. This is a cool mission. Okay, you can hear it. There's more rain. There's very clearly more rain. Mm-hmm. This light looks phenomenal again. And, like, look at the overcast. Yeah. They, it looks the great. storms look 
the storms look fucking phenomenal. Yeah, mythical ages. I, I'm I'm immediately in love with it. Yes, like look, you know what I mean now? Like look how sharp it looks. Yeah, it looks super sharp. The storms look awesome. Like the rain already looks better than vanilla rain and stuff like that. Just the storm. Poo, and uh, poo, hopefully we'll hit a lightning storm or something like that because that was really blowing yes, my mind. Yes, those rumbles. Okay, we got to put our party, <clears throat> our party boots on. Little party booties. Little party booties. Yeah, this... The, the way that this mission handles, like, okay, you can't bring all of your stuff in. You can't it's a great look. mission. Yeah, it, it reminds me of uh, even Tide Island from Breath of the Wild. We look good. We look dashing, to one say the say. least. Yeah. What what does the invitation say? I don't know. It probably says you're invited. Is it under books or miscellaneous? Uh, books. Invitations. Ellen Wynn. First emissary of the Aldmeri Dominion to the Kingdom of Skyrim requests the pleasure of the company of Jan Cena at a reception on 9 Morningstar 202 at the Ambassador's residence. Regrets only. Formal attire requested. What does regrets only mean? Uh, like only... Only send a letter back you if you can't, can't make it. can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. What? what I'm you, in your you party You gave clothes. me this. You can't go to a party. What am I supposed... Am I supposed to be wearing nothing else? Do you have a weapon on? What else are you wearing? Maybe we have to take Taylor's measure off. Maybe. So we can only have that on. I, g I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe she's just stupid. And she'd go fuck herself. Cause oh, no. no. I hope it's not Earring of Unburden. Oh, it's... The gloves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. More embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. Perfect. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. That's crazy. He was able to recognize to that. God, I embassy. really don't like you. I'm ready. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. She's got just so much sure shit that I just gave her. Back out of there alive yeah. <laughs> with the information we need. Good luck. All of a sudden, it all just falls and it like lands on her. her. Yeah, it just crushes her. All right. It's just like the beginning of the game. That dude's just ah, chilling. What if you just see him turn around, he's like smoking a cig? Soiree. Hey, where you had to and travel? Driving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain. Than any desire a little to choppy. A little choppy late. around these bits. I prefer to arrive early. So, often um, the party. hi. Greetings. Do we go in here? Sat no. No, you go in the front door? Isn't that the Welcome front door? Welcome to the Thalmor oh. Embassy. Your invitation, please? Yeah, um, yeah, this is this is my real invitation. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Yes. God, fucking idiot believed it. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. Why would he say that? I think I don't think we're the only ones here to murder. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. <laughs> really cold down here. I am yes. <laughs> the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are. My name is Jan Cena. Pleased to meet you. Ah yes, I remember your name from the guest list. Please tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this, <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? Never it's just Let me talk to her, dude. Out every out other farm wine, the Please, help yourself to more wine. What does your position involve? One of my yes, main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. Yeah, I, I ended, ended the war. Nobody knows that. Why don't? Why am I not famous? Anyway, what do the, the Thalmor Justicias are so often misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War. The White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. 
But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. <laughs> nah, I came here for that dope wine you got. You're taking home a mess tonight, Ellen Wynn. That's all I need to say. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Oh, damn. Please she wants to fuck me. Yourself. We respect women. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a fucking drink. Hey, you Melbourne. Get, you made it in. I remember you smuggled my stuff in so I could steal and store, see if they plotted the dragons. What's up, dude? Day. I hope you... <laughs> Just, I'd like it. I hope we live through this day. Yeah, I want a fucking drink. Here I'm not here to chat with you. Finest oh, are you the same guy? <laughs> Is there anything else I can get for you? I heard Ellen say she's going to open a bottle of her best. I'd like a drink. I have run out of Colobian brandy. I'll check in the wine cellar for more when I get a moment. Are you trying to cut me off, dude? All right, then. Fuck you. It's a party, isn't it? If I'm I remember a, the party, it. it wasn't a good party. You know what I mean? Up in you cannot eat quest items. Out. Oh, fuck that. Dragons there are dude, inside. I'm trying to get lit. They Whatever, this dude has never been to a party them. before, clearly. These parties are a great way to earn a little extra money. Probably trying to I hope you're enjoying the music, money. sir. Absolutely, I love the recorder. So I don't, yeah, I don't hear any music. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this war. Another sign of the degeneracy of your empire. Yeah, how's your day going, man? What brings you to the party? There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation. I was just seeing if you were having a good time. Yeah, you're not good with small talk, are you? All right, then. Yeah. Like, I get that small talk sucks, but I hope you're enjoying yourself, don't go talking sir. about politics I'm sorry, and religion like but that. I think you've had enough for the moment. Why is everyone just trying to fucking... They're buzzkills here. You? Yeah, they're trying to rain on my parade. Dude, is it because I chugged that fucking Modelo? Probably. That's not a sponsorship deal. I, Tyler's gunning for the sponsorship deal, but... Uh, what does a fellow just, need to do to get just a, a fan. around? Yeah, I understand. Oh, pardon me, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Oh, I thought Allow you did because you looked me in the eyes myself. and then said words to me. Rosalon, imports and exports by trade. Observer of human nature by avocation. Nice. Here. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. Hmm? If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. A lick spittle? Actually, there is something. Is my stuff? This Wonderful. dick ain't gonna suck itself. I can begin to Razzaland. Generosity immediately. Say on, say friend. I need you to cause a scene. Is that all? Look at the guy in the corner just staring friend. at us. You've come to the right Fuck person. off. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. A of her best Stand back wine. and behold my handiwork. <laughs> I'll not argue that. Heard any interesting gossip? I want to see what he's going to do. Pulls out a gun. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. Dude, she's killing it on that recorder. I yeah, she's absolutely just raging over there. Wynn, yes, our mistress. All right, cool. Let's go. Dip. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. That someone would actually want her in their bed. <laughs> Hope my knife Ooh. doesn't slip. Let me do the talking. I'm a... Okay. Okay. I gotta stop um, being so mad about. Yeah. Get your hands off me. So Suck them so good. Dry. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. That's all I care about. The kitchen. All right. I'm robbing them blind. The Is there more? Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Yeah, I get it. You you'll do the talking. God, I don't, this. Why do they suck so bad? I wish the people like at least the Dark Brotherhood people are more likable even than the Dragonborn quest people. Seeing if there's any special ingredients, if you know what I mean. No, I don't yeah, I think. Strange smells in my kitchen. I think it's time we. Uh... A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. What? A wretch? Don't call people the that. There was. You know this is against the rules. Could rules Gord Ramsay be making a comeback? I didn't realize that eating moon I mean, was permitted. anything is possible. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. We, where's our gear? Is he bringing us there? He must be. Ah, right there. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. 
What have you here we are. Let's well, get our get our gear. Get our gear. Take all. Have been banned from living inside the walls of and now <laughs> we begin. But we still need to blend in. And for that, well, I've prepared a few things for us to bring. Have you? I most certainly have. The legend has been reborn. Dragons have returned to this world after an eternity of being frozen in time during the Age of Heroes. The sons and daughters of Skyrim are marinating in the sins of their forefathers. The conniving Thalmor embassy potentially brew and boil this nefarious pot of evil deeds and attempts to bring Skyrim to her knees. The ingredients of a revolution will be scorched when the dragons thaw the icy mountains of Skyrim. A hero foretold by the stars has emerged from the fires of time to put an end to this wicked scheme and bring hope to this land. After years of steeping, he has returned more powerful than ever. His cunning, rivaled only by the sharpness of his blade. And he intends to cook up salvation for us all. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I can't, literally unescapable, inescapable. The Gord May. Look at that dramatic lighting on him too. Will strike. Oh my god. Well, to my behest, <laughs> Tyler was Look able to <laughs> Tyler was able to smuggle two of his fucking mods that he wanted in here. And they they kind of go together. The first one, you want to go third person for me, T. The chef and cutlery pack. Yes. This mod adds gloves to the chef outfit, makes chef gear light armor that can be tempered with bloody rags, and it should add a knife and fork as usable weapons, but we couldn't really get that to work. Something was messed up with the mod, or we didn't know where they were, or whatever. We couldn't get that to work. So, we had a second mod to go along with that, called Usable Fork and Knife Mod. A fork and knife added as weapons with damage rating appropriate to them, found at the dinner table in the balcony of Dragon's Reach. We had to kill the old chef and... <clears throat> yeah, we uh, some mistakes were made. Maybe not mistakes, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> Make it look like they were. I'm the fucking. chef of this kitchen now. Yeah. So, not only are we disguised as a chef with appropriate weapons for a chef, knife and fork, but it's also armor, light armor. And I think it's the perfect thing to infiltrate we the Thalmor Embassy. We gotta get fucking lit before we do this. Yeah, I want you. I want you absolutely gone. The kind of where you wake up the next morning and you're <clears> like, God, I'm never drinking again. Man, he had way too much to drink. Yeah. So much that his blood is no longer flowing through his veins. All right. Where are we going in here? We're finding her office, right? Aha. A gourd. The perfect calling card. <laughs> So we're going outside. Let's see if there's anything interesting inside. Yeah, there's got to be something. Something worth taking, right? Maybe like a... Like drinks. We're, we are truly robbing them blind. Right. It's like when you invite someone over to your party, and you know, you supply drinks for the party, but not very much, and it's only appropriate. It's like a BYOB thing. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just respectable. Yeah. But then someone else drinks all of your stuff, and it's like, dude. Like, dick move. Yep, we're that person at a yeah. party. They're the ones who are, who will like never even if you're just like hanging with a smaller group, they're never gonna bring like a sixer for the group or anything like that. Mm -mm. They're always just gonna be like, Oh, you guys got some stuff? Like thanks. Like, Sweet. I'll toss you some cash and then they never do. Never in a million years would they. I wish it was appropriate for us to have a torch out right now. It's very dark in here. It is. Which it could it's it either could is be anyone in here? mythical ages that's doing that, or it could be the interior lighting overhaul. Yeah. Nothing. All right. Well, I guess we're just we've already robbed them. them blind. Sure have. Of the only thing that matters. 
Liquid courage. And walk out like nothing has happened. Ahem, yes. We are a, uh, the Gord May. Yeah, you were gonna say a lowly chef. We're not lowly. Ah, fuck. Where they hate you? food. They hate Kill. fine dining. God, this is really choppy. Yes! Oh, Dude! He took his head off with the fork in the knife! He's, he's hungry. <laughs> it's a fork and knife! He's hungry for religious freedom. He's hungry for acceptance. That will never not get... Like, that'll never not be funny! Oh my God. He's using a fucking fork and... Like, a dinner fork and dinner knife! Give me your fucking... Yes! <laughs> I'm God hungry! Damn. It's so We're good. We're holding it really proper, too. Yeah, yep. Oh my god. This is better than we thought it was gonna be. Because <laughs> we haven't tested these. There's just blood all over it. Yeah. Like what? I'm still uh... hungry. <laughs> Seconds. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume. Ah, they don't know we're here. Most useful, but do not Nobody suspects the chef. Who are less you ready? This is why you don't fuck with the people that make your food. Well, that didn't work out in our way. He told me himself. Who's talking? Who's just not noticing the murder happening right now? So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Oh god, is someone being tortured? To do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I I could help you. There they are. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come down? Ah. Ah, okay. There we go. First emissary, Ellen Wynn. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the part of your power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome, as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Rulindil, third emissary. Wow. So we have to get the prisoner? Take. We're going to take that. Those Ooh, are going to be. The dossier on Delphine. How long is it? Uh, just she's believed to be working in Skyrim. She's We're having surveillance on her. High priority target during the first war. Ulfric, we already fucking murdered the yeah, dude. Yeah, who cares about him anymore? Is he is Kissa? gone. Shall we lose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask Oh him no. And see how he answers. Oh no, is this is this no, no, where people are I'll being tortured? Outside. That would probably be best. Where Now get out. And the what stairs what closest to your related office. Related to the dragons. Yeah, those Who else might know? Greasy Tom? <laughs> what did he call us? Greasy, Greasy like Tom? Oh, God. Tyler, you're hitting his Wait. How good, yes! how good is the... How good is the range on those things? Because you would have to be mighty close to hit someone with a... With a just like a regular this. dinner knife. You wish to defeat me? That looks that, sick. Yeah, he that looks him. so... That looks so dope. Yes. Wow. These things are working like an absolute charm. Way better than I expected. I'm gonna eat that. Yeah, eat it. I'm unsure if we were supposed to kill this man. Uh, well, he was, you know, we did kill an old woman earlier. She was just trying to, like, bake a cake for the party, and we... we I'm the head chef. We, we caught her. I'm <laughs> the head chef. I don't think she was questioning that. <laughs> She just wanted to assist you in baking a cake, and then you hit her with a in the gut with an axe. Tori. 
There can only be one chef in my kitchen, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I don't I'm, want you I mean, questioning I'm not that or you'll be next. Over it. I'm not losing sleep over you'll it. You'll be next. Okay. Please. Ooh, a Gordon. Perfect. You know. Yeah, you should probably, uh... Cooking can be dangerous. One slip of the finger could leave your dinner spoiled. I don't he know. He slipped and fell on this gourd and cracked his neck on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. He, however, <laughs> is going to have a gourd for a head. Yep. Almost like Headless the Horseman. new movie coming out, Snowman, starring Michael Fassbender. Yeah, that looks stupid. Nah, looks good. No. I Well, I don't know. I think horror movies are stupid. I don't think it... I don't think it's much of a horror movie. I think it's going to be like a thriller kind of thing. Uh, I'm excited. The trailer was cut like a horror movie trailer. Yeah. So. <laughs> Perfect. Down to the cells. <sighs> Chief. <laughs> it's really cold down here. Yeah, it's, it's a little frigid. You know, falls rolling in. This, this dude is no match. For this or this woman is no match for us. Ah! I, done, done. Fifteen times the damage. That's what you just hit her with. She didn't even see it coming. Isbun. Fugitive captured only. No capture only. Highest, Highest priority. priority. Male, Nord, late seventies. Esburn was one of the Blade Lore Masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Felinesti Incident and the breach of the Blue Water Prison. His file has remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Alinor for punishment and re-education. And a burp. Yeah, I, used, I saw that bubbling up Ooh. like... I, could, I, I basically just watched it. In the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A, uh, a salutary reminder to all operational levels that no Blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice extracted upon them. Exacted upon them. All right, well. As we are still in the dark to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons... I have made capturing Esburn our top priority, as he is known to be one of the many experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which, means re which remains largely theoretical. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to go blah, on blah, way blah, too blah, long blah, if you blah, keep blah, reading blah, it, yeah. Esburn is still alive, hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of... Hiding somewhere in Riften? Huh. Huh. Who would have thunk it? All right, there's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is there another guy? No, that was still him dying. The audio had not caught up with them yet. It's because we're fast. That's because we're fast as fuck. Thanks, Coffee. Thanks, Listen Jeff up, Gordon. Spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. <laughs> Surrender immediately, or you both die. You're not trapped... Er, sorry, I already fucked it up. Move. I'm not trapped in Slowly. here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Starts doing the thing where he fucking, like, starts, like, on. hitting the fork and knife together. That was some assassin move right here there. Somewhere. Wait, f why can't I get over this thing? Because the ceiling is too low. Uh, uh. Fuck. You better go fucking save him. I don't where, necessarily where? feel the need to. Yeah, that's true. He's been kind of an asshole. Hit him with a, with a nice arrow shot. Nice move. Nice move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he brought back up. God damn it. He looks so fucking cool. Like, are I, you admitting that the chef I'm is now cool? That it, no, I'm admitting that using a basic knife me for the to cut a guy's head off while you're wearing the chef's outfit it. looks pretty fucking badass. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? Do you have any recipes? Yeah, sure. 
Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead to whatever you want. But let's go, now. Man, that sucks for I didn't you. want to save anyone, but... Oh, well... It's just another witness that I don't like having. Oh, uh, you don't like, yeah, loose ends. <laughs> I'll fix this later. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to play like a ghoul. Just like... <laughs> just like really awkwardly creeping towards it. Trapdoor key. Got it. Oh, I just took a skull. Yeah, well, can never have too many. Where's it going to lead us to? Oh. So this is where they dump the bodies. Uh-oh. Dark as Yeah, fuck. you might want to pull out a... Nope, wow. never mind. Immediately bright. Thought I heard something. That's, got, that's really got to hurt the eyes. That's like that's worse than like turning on your phone after you... Oh! Nah, trolling shit, dude. That takes Not when you that. have... Dude, basic... and look at the damage that they... They don't... They don't do that much damage. They do 21, 21. and 24. Yeah, but I think but we're just... But for some reason, they're just fucking destroyed. Yeah, I, I don't have a torch. Uh, what? Oh, I don't need one. Yeah, no, you're good. Where are you going to go? You didn't have to help me, so thanks. You're welcome. Absolutely. One caveat. You have to let me lick your moist body. Sorry. I don't know why I always have to do that. Well, he feels the sense of freedom. Yeah. Oh, God, don't do it. For don't now. do it. Don't do it. Oh, I don't like to watch this. Look at me just hunt my prey. This is worse. This is like... It's like the argument for like free or cage free chickens. It's like, oh, so you uh, the chicken got to be living the good life and then you're going to kill it. You're just showing him the taste of freedom. Oh it's god. Pretty fast. You're crouching and sneaking. <laughs> you could be going faster than him if you wanted. Okay, let's put an end to this. Oh god. Oh, uh, witnesses. They can't see you. <laughs> Mm. Why? This is so cruel. This is so cruel. I don't want to be part of this. I'll. But I can't keep my eyes off it. See, I'll run ahead, right? I'll be right here. And you'll just clothesline him? Where am I? Oh, God, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, you are an <laughs> asshole. No. What a waste. I assaulted a member of the Thieves Guild. Oh, man. He was There's with the Thieves Guild? I guess so. On my way to investigate. Who well, are you? Tyler, we figured out more about the Thalmor. We went in there, we killed a bunch of them, and now we know... We Look know at this snowstorm. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, let's actually just... Before we... Before we let's just this, let's soak this in for a little bit. Give a nice look at... This is what the snowstorms look like. Much more present than the other ones were. It's not just a little flurry, it's... And this the sun, a, you can still see through. Oh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. But Tyler, let me tell you what. How about we call it for the day? Let me tell you what. I think that's a good idea. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. If you have any mods you'd like to suggest, any changes you'd like to see made to the show, or you just want to say hello, I will be on Twitter at Lurking Lion. I will be at Subtly Cool, or you can contact Shapeless Gaming as a whole at Shapeless Gaming. Or if, you know, mod creator, you got something you want to send to us, you know, yeah. we're always looking for new mods. Yeah, so, like, if, if you're you... a mod creator and you've made something and you want to see it, see it put to use or something, let us know because we're yeah. always interested in yeah, that. absolutely. We'll find a way to fit it into our storyline. So thank you for watching. You can catch Shapeless Skyrim every Tuesday and Throwback Thursday every Thursday. Thank you for watching. Finish it, finish it, finish it, pussy, all the way down the hatch.